Hello and welcome back to, um, Tangle Tower. Oh, my ears are hurting from the, um, headphones. It's an old coat rack. Looks thoroughly neglected. Two cloaks and a green hat draped on top for good measure. Hmm. Looks like Peacock. don't normally have windows. Or at the bottom of the lake. We must be. Right. But if that's the lake bed, why does it look like that? Like what? what? Yeah. White, smooth, no plants, no anything. That's not what a lake looks like. Where are we? I have no idea. But I want We're to. Too late. This. this photograph has been stabbed. Why? <laughs> By what? Not sure. Some kind of metal stabbing thingy. Oh? Oh! Well, well, oh! The metal rod! It, a sleek but sturdy metal rod has been stabbed into a photograph. The ra rod has a curved and pointed top like an arrow or the hand of a clock. Ooh! It has a red... has... it has a small loop at the back, uh... at the back with a short length of red rope connected to it. The metal is perfectly clean and polished. Hmm... So what's the photo? Damaged photo. It's been framed, but slightly damned. The photograph shows a young girl, a large man next to her. Around them are several red and white. <gasps> oh, oh! I. It's Flora with her father. In the hall near the big man's chest. It's Flora and her father. Do you know who it is in the photo? Give me a second. I want to explore a everything. Book on a little makeshift table. This is creeping me out slightly. Why? I think it's a children's book. Children's book. Mistids of the Sea and Sky. A children's picture book. It looks very old. The Ink Dip. An elegant bird with red and white plumage. The, a, the Silver Snake. An aquatic reptile with no eyes and a long tongue. Soul bearer, a crab with three different sized claws, the amphibioid, a frog like creature walking on two legs. What? Old cardboard boxes. How exciting. Oh, but there's more. They're also damp and empty. There's a roll of paper up there. I'll see if I can reach it. Let me guess. Blank. Unroll it. What the crap? No! Mystic... Misted Mansion, Northern Side Cross Section. So the towers were added on. Hold on. Have we been to all of these rooms already? Yeah. The music room. The Grand Hall. What's that thing in the middle? I think it's that big glass tube. Study. Wait. I know what you're thinking. And no, we never went in there. How did we miss it? That's interesting. This seems pretty significant. Yeah. Great. Building plans and <laughs> a roll of parchment on which the plans out for the Grand Mansion have been drawn. A horizontal line marks where the lake was before, and a second mark where and a second marks where it is now. The mansion has been built on top of a large structure above the lake, supported by pillars. Freya's room is listed as storage. A room labeled sturdy is in the center. Okay, now I will talk to you about the stuff. The lake. Did you notice how much light this room has? For a room with one candle? Yeah. It's all coming through the window. I'm pretty sure lakes are supposed to be darker at the bottom, not lighter. Why is right. there a room down here anyway? And why is it so much older than the rest of Tangle Tower? We still don't really know why people came to live here in the first place. Hmm. Maybe they just wanted to get rich, like Pointer with his beetles. I feel like the Remingtons came here for the lake, for what yeah. was in it. It's empty, though. More empty than a normal lake would be. It is now, yeah. 
Maybe we're too late. Hmm. This man in the photo, he reminds me of something from one of our clues. Felix made a little model of him for Flora. Yeah, makes sense when you know who he is. Uh. Lord Fellow. Really? Wait, no, hang on. Felix made a little model of him. Yeah, for... makes sense when you know Lord Remington. Remington, that makes him Flora's father. <laughs> Meaning the girl in the photo is. Yeah, it's her. See the bird too. I never would have guessed. Times sure do change. I don't know. I don't think she looks so different. She definitely looks like an older version of that. Let's head back up to the Grand Hall. Yeah. I want to find that last room. Yeah. Puckshaw, come here! Wow. It's dark all of a sudden. Yeah. How long were we down there? This must be it. This thing goes all the way up. How are we supposed to get up there? I have no Hang idea. on. It's pitch black, but I think there's a switch. <gasps> a ladder! A ladder? Wanna go up? Climb the ladder! What did you find? Okay, new chapter, alright! <laughs> The Hidden Heart. What the fuck is this? Who are all the people in this photo? Not sure, but it looks like someone didn't like them very much. Their eyes have all been crossed out. Group photo. This photograph is a sturdy wooden frame. It's dusty and, and it looks several years old. A brass plaque at the base of the frames. The Ambassadors of the Mystic Mansion. The photo shows two women and three men wearing variations of different style clothing. All five people have have had their faces crude, covered in blank ink. What? That photo is important. I'm sure of it. Yeah, things just took a rabid turn. A pinboard, hung up on one of the chains. Looks like there's a couple of things missing from it. Pinboard, a large central street paper has been pinned to it. Four lines have been drawn from a gap of the center. A smaller sheet of underneath features a drawing resembling a silhouette of a cloaked figure. Kind of, this kind of looks like Hawkshaw. An axe and some kind of hunting rifle, mounted on the wall. Honestly, it doesn't look like they've been moved in a few years. I'm more worried about the third one. The third one? Oh, there's no third one! The one that isn't there. Oh, no! Dragon? Snake? Worm? That's the one. Worm, yeah. That's a An incinerator built into the wall. Or an it's still pretty hot. Is there anything left inside? It's mostly ashes, but yeah, there's something. A feather. And a button. Buttons. And scrap? Metal? Fabric. Nothing much more than a pile of ash and dust. Among the ashes are several black buttons. Recolored scraps of fabric are still visible. And a feather! Centipede? Millipede? How many legs has it got? Too many. Same. Some kind of fish and a bird skull, I guess? If that's a bird skull, we're talking about a 15-foot bird here. Well, how about we stop talking about it? Fair enough. Do those look like scratch marks to you? On the glass? Yeah. Yeah. They're on the inside. Right. Whoa! Do those look like scratch marks? Yeah, they're on the inside. You know, in any normal room, this thing would be my main concern. In here, though, it barely makes the top three. <laughs> That's a bookcase. It's mostly empty. What a surprise. 
Those aren't bird cages. Some of them are disconcertingly large. At least they're all empty. Yeah. You sure that's a good thing? Yeah. Alright, I'll talk to you now. Because I I think this is a puzzle. Another photograph. Their faces are all crossed out with some kind of black ink. That's weird. Oh, you think so? Uh, no, I mean, something I just realized. Sally, did we meet any of these people here at Tango Tower? Well, the woman on the left looks a little like Poppy, but her style is way different. And at first, yeah. I thought the guy on the top right was Felix. Yeah. But now that I look at it, I don't think it is him. No. <laughs> like, is that a crab? It's got a translucent exoskeleton. You can actually see its insides. Also, crabs normally have two claws, right? Not three? Yes. Uh, you sure we should be touching it? Yes. Grimoire, don't you think it looks familiar? Yes, it does. It's a... One from the... Right. How do I move? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's too far. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a crossbow. Oh. What's this? Something somebody didn't want us to find. Yeah. What is it? Was someone trying to hide it? From us? I don't know. But it looks incomplete to me. I want to know what happened to the rest of it. Where are the other parts? We have it. We found them we already. We found them already. Right. Ah, don't need you anymore. Walk through. something that could attach to the crossbow. Mm. Others? Let's think about it. I don't know. Right. <gasps> this! Oh! What do you make of it? What the crap? I'm not sure. Let's keep an open mind. You don't think the crossbow is the murder weapon? Oh no, the crossbow is definitely the murder weapon. But that doesn't mean we've solved the mystery. Let's not wander off right now. So let's study. What's this? Something somebody didn't want us to find. Right. Crossbow. They called this room a study? What would you call it? The secret death chamber. Same! Of doom. Full of monsters! Coffee table, half empty wine bottle, lap left on. I'm gonna say someone's been using this room. Someone can place it enough to leave their notebook lying around. 
notebook. Several pages have been ripped out, but a few remain. Fifth ambassador located. Finally, can't say I'm, I harbored any optimism, but still somehow disappointed. No better than the rest of them. Took my mystic friends on the mystic room. Took my mystic friend into the music room for experiments. Works perhaps too well. The, ex the laboratory was another disappointment. All that effort for what? Even he was more. Even he was more short-sighted than I could have guessed. Went to the bottom. Nice view. It's been mostly cleaned out, but I have. But I have what I need. She got in. She was careful. Nothing was moved. But I know it's time. What? Someone's been using this room. Yeah. I don't get it. This room is in the original building plans for the mansion. But nowadays, it's some big secret? It's not a secret to everybody. At least one other person still knows about this room. The way the notebook was left out on the table makes me think it's someone who has the room all to themselves. Whoever it was, they left more than just the notebook. There's a whole design project on this pinboard. Feels like someone put quite a bit of effort into it. It's a shame there are things missing from it. I'm betting it'd make more sense if we could see it all together. That might not be impossible, you know. Oh. I'm either thinking it's Hawkshaw. Oh, wait! Yeah! <laughs> That doesn't we need something that could attach to the pinboard. That's not right. Something that's been taped at the top, with lines drawn on top of it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? So it's Freya who did she commit suicide? From Freya's room and the Hawkshaw or Felix. Did Freya design Detective Hawkshaw's clothes? What kind of sense does that make? I don't think that's why Freya made that painting, but it may have been why somebody took a photo of it to use as reference. And as for those sketches of Hawkshaw, I don't think Freya actually drew them. It was somebody else, someone with less of a talent for art. Doesn't exactly narrow it down. Should we go ask Detective Hawkshaw about all this? Yeah. I'm not sure. We still don't know what's really going on. Things are ramping up now! The murder! Continue. Murderer. Time to solve this. Alright. Break out the notebook. Time to put it all together. Let's start with this. It's an arrow for the crossbow, and it matches Freya's wound. It's the murder weapon. I'm sure of it. Despite the fact it doesn't have any blood on it, and it wasn't found anywhere near the crime scene? Mm-hmm. It was cleaned, then it was hidden. I don't think anybody expected us to get down to that room at the bottom of the lake. Okay, so Freya was shot by a crossbow. Where was it fired from? It was fired from above Freya. Yeah. Above, huh? Yeah. Our diagram doesn't show everything. Let's add in the rest of the crime scene. The attic. Perfect hiding place. We even found a part of the murder weapon up there. The reel was used to pull the arrow back up through the crack in the floorboards. Explains why we never found a weapon at the crime scene, I guess. Yeah. The murderer must have dropped the reel in the attic. I'm guessing they were in a hurry to escape. Wait. The arrow was fired through the crack in the floorboards? Yeah. yeah. It's directly above where Freya was found lying on her back. Nope. Doesn't add up. It would have missed her if she was still standing up by the painting. Ah, right. Unless. Freya was already lying on her back before the arrow was fired. I think so too. She was relaxing. You think so? Maybe not. Freya was already lying on her back before the- I think so too. She'd fallen unconscious. Something in the room caused Freya to fall unconscious. Hmm. 
paint fumes. I'm not sure about that. Me neither. Something in the room. Hmm. Flora. I'm not sure about that. Me neither. Never mind. That Something in the room caused Freya to fall unconscious. The gramophone. gramophone. Right. But the gramophone by shush, itself shush. can't do that. There is something in the gramophone. Mm-hmm. Something small. That's not it. No. That's not it. No. Hey. That's not it. No. That's not it. Okay, I'm just going one by That's one. That's not it. 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 Hmm. That's not it. 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 Pointer's research says it can emit an incredibly loud hiss when it feels threatened. Poppy and Fitz both said they heard a loud noise around the time of the murder. Neither of them had any idea what it was. This seems a little far-fetched. Is it really loud enough to knock someone out? No, I don't think so. Not by itself. But don't forget, it was being amplified by the shape of the gramophone. Now, I don't think we're purely talking about volume either. It might just be a particular type of frequency. This is getting hmm. kind of scientific. Since when do you know anything about the effects of weaponized audio frequency? I don't. But I think someone else does. Do you remember that statue we found in the music room? The horn it's playing. It's a pretty similar shape to the one on the gramophone. That broken glass isn't there on accident. This is someone's science experiment. Thinking about it... Pointer said he saw Flora was knocked out, too. I guess they were both in range of the noise, although Pointer might have been lying. Personally, I think he was telling the truth about that. It's pretty clear, a powerful frequency did pass through Flora's town. Huh. Caused quite a bit of damage, too. That's not it. I honestly... That's not it. Thing has lost That's me now. not it. That's 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 not it. Those cracks didn't appear out of nowhere. Freya's paints, the pink cassette tape, and the gramophone itself. They all sustained similar damage while they were in that room. That's some mm. seriously powerful vibration. Enough to crack metal. Enough to knock someone out all the way across a room. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't get. If the frequency was so powerful and had such a big range, how did the murderer pull it off? Wouldn't they have been in range too? Think about it. <gasps> they can't have been much further away from the gramophone. Wait, 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 wait. They protected themselves. How? With, 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 with this, with, with the These earmuffs. are some pretty heavy-duty earmuffs. I think they'd be enough to block out the sound. Right. Let's go over everything from the start. One, Freya is painting Flora's portrait. They're listening to music on the gramophone. Two, the murderer is hiding in the attic, wearing earmuffs. Three, the golden beetle starts to emit its hissing noise. Hold on. How did it know? The beetle? Yeah. What triggered it? at that particular moment. Pointer's research said it makes the noise when it feels threatened. Uh, 
not sure. Maybe something in the music? Maybe. <clears throat> Four. Freya and Flora are both knocked unconscious by the vibrations. Freya lands on her back. She drops the brush and palette by her side. Five. The murderer fires the crossbow directly downwards. Six. The arrow is pulled back up on the reel. Seven. The murderer leaves the attic. Presumably. Eight. The door is kicked down. Fitz and Poppy enter the room. Huh. That's it. There's something bothering me. What? Yeah. I just want to check something. Let's go back to the crime scene. Okay. Oh. Forest Tower. Oh. The answer is in the painting. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Freya was unable to. She died sometime during a four hours. Right. It's up and rushes my new towards the middle of the room. There's an alpha. Can't she die? The answer is in the painting. I'm sure of it. Is it pointing straight up? The answer is in the painting. I'm sure of it. Hmm. dark. I can see the stars. I can see the stars. And it's dark. Not the pants. God, what am I supposed to do? Answer is in the painting. I'm sure, sure of it. it. Right. Well, hold on now. Let me watch a walkthrough video. to say This plan, I mean, yeah. Clue. So what's bothering you? 
Something that's not here. <laughs> the thing we didn't find. We know she was holding it during the painting. Flora's ink dip feather? It was here. In this room. Where'd it go? That's right. We never found, found it. it. You sure about that? Not entirely. What? Flora's ink dip feather? It was here. In this room. We found it somewhere else. That's not it. No. Ooh. We were a little too late to save it. So it was stolen from the crime scene, and ended up in the incinerator down in the study. Someone wanted to destroy it, I guess. But how? How was it stolen from up here in Flora's tower? Presumably, Flora dropped it when she fell unconscious. Yeah, and then what? The murderer couldn't have stolen it if they were up in the attic. So the question is, how could they steal something from a room they weren't able to access? Oh, no. The final clue about the crime scene. Freya left it for us right here. It's in the unfinished painting. It's not quite a photo, but still. It's an image of the crime scene recorded just before the murder. Ah, if only she'd finished it, and then I could be totally sure. <coughs> it's true she never finished it, but she did intend to finish it. Meaning? <coughs> Sorry. I took a drink of ginger ale. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. We know more about the painting than what Freya actually got down on the canvas. That's not it. There. That's not it. That's not it. No, what? That's not it. That's not it. No. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. What? That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Freya prepared all the colors she was going to need before she started painting. Mm, right. going to be used to paint the sketch of something sitting in the window. Hmm. Something in the window. Oh. The beetle. The beetle. That's not it. What? That's not it. A bird? That's not it. This bird. There she is, our little thief. How long has it been there? Did it hear the whole conversation? That's creepy. She did. Ha! But she's a very good listener. How, would, uh, how long have you been there? Hi, Hawkshaw. Well now, I think this has quite served its purpose, don't you? Penny, why did you- It's Penelope, if you don't mind. But before we begin, isn't there a certain formality demanding our attention? Lovely. Now, tell me, what was it that drove you this far? I'm ever so curious. I just need to know the truth is that right interesting 
Why did you do it, Penny? What did Freya do to you? Absolutely nothing. So, what? You just hated her indiscriminately? Freya Fellow was an inspiration to us all. She was possessed of a great energy. The volition to create something from nothing. The willpower to walk beyond her boundaries. She was truly free. Everything I couldn't be. You know what? I just realized I actually have no idea who Penelope Pointer really is. Weird, isn't it? Considering we've met her, what is it, three times now? Yeah. Exactly. How do we know this one isn't a disguise, too? You think you've already hollowed us out, don't you? Only a few short hours at Tangled Tower, and you feel like you've got everyone sussed, unearthed every single one of our secrets, nothing but bullet points for your notebook. Go on, indulge me. What does it say in your notes about Penelope Pointer? Suppose I can't argue with that, can I? Penny, we only know what you choose to tell us, so why not help us out? Very well. Penelope Pointer is actually not very important at all. She pales in comparison to those who came before her and to those that came after. Living at Tangle Tower, it is very difficult to attain the levels of self-realization you probably take for granted. Um, you sure this is a Tangled Tower thing, and not a you thing? Perhaps you didn't notice. Not one of them is happy. Not one. So why stay? Why not just leave? I thought she did leave. Penny, you said you traveled, didn't you? I did. Many times I've walked yeah. away. It did not help. You saw the family tree hanging in the Grand Hall, did you not? Yeah, it lists a bunch of people who don't live here anymore. A bunch of people who don't live here anymore. I couldn't have put it better myself. Okay. My mother, for one. My father, too. The other two Remingtons. Poppy's mother, Primrose. And her brother, Richard. And Fitz's father. That's five. Five people that might have lived here, but don't. And that was the first question I wanted answered. Okay. You wanted to know where they'd all gone? More than that. I wanted to know if I belonged with them. I have no place here. Not among the Fellows, the Remingtons, or the Pointers. But I felt there must be a reason why everyone else left. Hmm. Some common purpose they all shared. Perhaps it could be my purpose, too. So... What did you actually do about it? Nothing I could do, at first. Nobody would tell me anything. The more questions I asked, the fewer answers I got. Then, I found it. I was 19. Same age Freya is now. Found what? The study. The one hidden yeah. in the middle of the house. It's right next to a bedroom. I'd hear voices at night, deep ones. And the strangest thing, the wall behind my bed would get incredibly hot. For hours on end, the paint would peel, wallpaper wouldn't stay up. I thought I was cursed. I thought it was something trying to break through. Eventually, I couldn't take it anymore. Hmm. I found my way in the same way you did. Once you know it's there, it's simple. So, you got into the study and found the incinerator. That must have been a relief, right? It was still warm when I found it. Then, I looked inside. Let's see how thorough you've been. Tell me, do you know what a misted is? Misted? Misted? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Hmm, you're more observant than I thought. Sorry, what are we talking about? It's a collective term, from before my time. Birds, insects, amphibians, anything living off the lake water. The mutation can take several generations, or it can happen overnight. <laughs> Wait, 
mistids, like cryptids, uh, like Bigfoot or whatever. Yeah. A little egregious, isn't it? I suspect that was an intentional parallel. The main difference being mistids are perfectly real. They're just kept secret. Or at least, that was the original plan. As it happened, some got out. Quite a few got out. How do you know all this? When I entered the study at 19, I found a single object that rather changed my life. Something which answered my questions while at once creating all new ones. That's not it. That's not right. That's not right. The five missing family members standing together as a single unit, calling themselves the Ambassadors of Misted Mansion. So, the house was renamed from Misted Mansion to Tango Tower? Yeah. Rightly so. The age of Misted Mansion is long past. When I looked inside the incinerator on my first visit to the study, I found nothing but ash. The afterimage of a bygone era denied to me in its entirety. The study, the room at the bottom of the lake, the lake itself, all empty shells. I felt my only hope lay with the ambassadors. If I could find them, maybe, maybe they'd share the family history that Flora and the others were trying so hard to forget. How did you track them down? It was tough. They'd taken almost everything. Books, maps, charts, the creatures themselves, all lost, taken away or destroyed. <laughs> I got lucky. I got a lead. I found one, and he led me to the rest. And? What happened? Why do you paint out all their faces? They didn't help you either, did they? Nineteen-year-old me had imagined they'd all left with a mission. A unified yeah. purpose. But they hadn't. They were, in fact, every bit as fractured as the people that still live here. Most of them had left tracking escaped mystics. Some claimed to be researchers, others little more than hunters. All five, completely useless to me. Even your own parents? Eventually, I returned <clears throat> to Tangle Tower. I had nowhere else to go. I considered giving up. But instead, I made a decision. There was only one person at Tangle Tower still of interest to me. My dear Uncle Pointer had suddenly made a show of taking up astronomy. A fairly superficial charade, I don't think many people were fooled by it. But I knew it wasn't just a falsehood, it was a mask. Pointer had found something, something from the era of Miss Dimension. Yeah, right, the... this. So, where did he get the beetle? I cannot be sure, but I theorize that he received it in the post. In the post? From who? Who can say? Someone outside Tangle Tower. But the thought that he would be in contact with such a person. All that time, I decided to take what was owed to me. So you stole it. Stealing the beetle turned out to be only the first step. Upon realizing it was gone, Pointer made hmm. a little effort to disguise his frustration. I asked what was bothering him. He foresaw no risk in sharing a little of the truth with his knees. He told me he'd lost a rare treasure, something he'd been keeping safe. I suggested, innocently, that perhaps it was not lost. Perhaps it had been stolen. He was very ready to believe he'd been the victim of theft. When I offered to call in a private detective, he jumped on the idea. She arrived the next day. Hawkshaw prides herself on her punctuality, as you know. Why, though? Why go through all that? The name, the costume, and everything? Everything, yeah. It's somewhat sad to admit, but I had a little use left for Penny Pointer as she was. Also, can we also talk about how she just scooby-dooed herself? She completely just scooby-dooed herself. She just pulled off the costume and the mask and be like, SURPRISE! It is I! Someone else completely, entirely! Like, wait a minute, hold on. What the fuck? Hawkshaw afforded me new advantages. Opportunities. But 
didn't you have to pretend to be working for Professor Pointer? Ah, well, that was one of the advantages. Pointer was in such a desperate state, he was finally willing to share some of his secrets. On the second day, Hawkshaw explained she needed to be able to search the secret laboratory. Pointer gave in, and gave me the code for the harp statue. Reluctantly, but still. So... you stole Pointer's research? I would have done, if I'd found anything worth stealing. But he had made remarkably little progress, barely scratching the surface of the beetle's true mystery. Which is? Ha! <laughs> she carries an exoskeleton approximately 90% identical to gold. Right. But it's not the 90% I'm interested in. It's the 10%. Did you ever question what exactly makes the water here so unique? Before Misted Mansion was built over the lake, before the lake was even a lake, Lord Remington and his wife built a small structure here. A research station, supposedly. Fast forward two or three generations, and as you saw for yourself, it's been mostly cleared out. The ambassadors took everything when they left. And everything they didn't take was burned in the incinerator. However, possessing additional insight, I found something the others had missed. It's what? not much, but I have what I need. So, why isn't this the end of the story? Yeah. Why did you stay? Why did you kill Freya? <laughs> the will of Freya Fellow. This is getting interesting! <laughs> oh, you don't even react anymore. Well, simply put, Freya was too good for me. It's my fault. I pushed her over the edge, unknowingly, but still, I take the blame. What are you talking about? Yeah, what? Did you know I based the design for Hawkshaw on something Freya painted? No. <gasps> That's not right. No. That's not it. That's not it. No, the bird. That almost. But it's not right. Oh, oh God. That's not it. No. Okay. I, I'm just gonna That's have to go it. one by one now because I'm. That's not it. Confused as all That's hell. That's not it. 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 That, but it's not right. Oh, the, wait, right. that, yeah. I had assumed it was purely abstract. I just thought it had a good energy. I later discovered it was a figure of some kind, something from Freya's recurring nightmare. For all her vitality, I think Freya was probably the most troubled of all of us. Yeah. She was desperate to leave Tangle Tower, but she couldn't just walk away. For quite some time, she'd been trying to break into Pointer's laboratory. Freya and her friends were halfway through deciphering those symbols on the harp statue, I believe. <laughs> Why did she care about getting into Pointer's lab? That's exactly what I wondered. At first, I thought perhaps she just wanted to free the beetles. She has a fondness for them. What Pointer was doing upset her significantly. <laughs> but in fact, I think it was something else. I think she wanted to free Fiona. Free Fiona. The real reason Freya was unable to leave Tangle Tower is that she could not get Fiona to agree to come with her. We're now firmly in the realm of speculation, but I think Freya felt that exposing the darker secrets of Tangle Tower not just to the rest of the family, but to the world, it would compromise all three families. And perhaps, somehow, free Fiona from the shackles of her inheritance. Hmm. Maybe. That was her plan anyway. But, something happened. Before Freya could find her way into Pointer's laboratory, 
She found her way into your study, found your notes, found that photograph. I'm willing to bet she put it all together quicker than we did. Yeah. So she worked out what had happened to the five ambassadors. Specifically, what you'd done to them when they refused to help you. Freya had made a promise to paint Flora as a birthday gift, a parting gift no less. She'd be in a locked room, several hours away from her friends. It was my best chance. But why hide in the attic? And why bother with the beetle at all? Yeah. The beetle in the gramophone wasn't for Freya. It was for Flora. She didn't deserve to be involved. She suffered enough. I couldn't get Flora out of her room. But if she could be unconscious, then she wouldn't have to witness anything. Why the knife? The illusion of the painted knife with the blood. That was for Fiona. And Poppy too, I suppose. Gave them something to focus on. You mean it distracted them while you made your escape? It helped them cope. The very idea of something abstract, something supernatural. I believe it made things marginally less painful for them, initially. Yeah. Worked on you, too. Mm -hmm. True. So why are you still here? Why not take your first chance and leave? Ah, well, I've been waiting for an opportunity to get my beetle back. I'd really rather not leave without it. Wait, it's still here? It's still inside the gramophone. God, I hate that bird. That that's creepy. God, that was so creepy. <laughs> oh, Mike's edge. What's going on? Poppy, they are both awake. I can see. You two all right? My head hurts. What happened to us? You were both unconscious. Fourteen minutes by my count. Really? You're both fine. No injuries. Was it the beetle? In the gramophone? I heard it through the ceiling in my room. The exact same sound we heard before the murder. I guess it must have been. So how did we get down here? What happened to Penny? Fitz saved both of you, obviously. When I reached Flora's tower, you were both unconscious, and Penny was crouched down beside you. She had her crossbow on her, but who knows? She may have just been checking you were both asleep. Did you know she, uh, that she was the murderer? Poppy and Fifi suspected her. Apparently, they were pretty close to solving it themselves. Fitz did not want to believe us, because he liked Penny. A lot. Right. Right. But what happened? Fitz, what did she do when she saw you? She jumped out the window. What? Did she survive? She did. I heard something land in the garden outside my room. But by the time I got out there to check, she was already gone. <laughs> Hang on. Poppy, why do you have Penny's hat bird? She left him behind. I found him sitting on the floor in the aviary, all by himself. Hmm. Poor little thing. The mean lady didn't care about you at all, did she? No, she didn't. I apologize. Poppy seems to be under the illusion that the bird can understand human language. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. So, Penny got away. I'm afraid she did. We had suspected she might try to escape. I was stationed here by the lake's edge. I proved to be an ineffective guard. She took the boat. Did she take the beetle with her? Nope. How do you know? because it's right here. Oh, wow. It was still in the gramophone. I guess I scared her off before she had a chance to take it. Huh. Poppy, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to give it back to your father? No, I'm not. It doesn't belong to anyone. So, I'm going to put it on the ground and never bother it again. Very I think well that's what she would have wanted. Aw, that was a very good game! I I was very addicted to this game. It was very fun. Um God, there were so many good 
god, this was a really good game. I was not expecting it to be a point and click. I... Man! I don't even know where to begin with my review! I know there was something that irritated me. But I can't remember what it was. Damn, this was a fun game. Hey, oh my gosh. This was fun. I definitely want to play the other... I, I can only get, like, I think the first game, and not the second. Oh my gosh. Man, I guess the, the thing that annoys me is this: how Scooby Doo it was so like art gallery. It's in the art gallery now. Oh. 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 Okay. Ooh, okay. Clues. Clues to. Oh. I'm not reading all of this, but... Wow, this is very good. Hmm. Man, yeah, this was a fun game! <laughs> Holy crap. Wait a minute! They never explained what was with the lake, or with, or with the beetle, or like anything around the lake and the, the beetle and, and any of the alchemy. Wait a minute! Hold on! We need to... Hold on, hold on, hold on! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! This is strange! Oh my god. I love the characters. The characters were cool. I, I love Grimoire. Um, it was kind of hard for me to get who was who with the fellows and the pointers. I liked Poppy a lot. I think it was the, like Grimoire, Sally, Poppy... Fifi Fitz, Felix, Hawkshaw, Penny, Fellow Pointer, in that order of like how much I liked and disliked to them. They, they were all very fun and very cool. Um, yeah, damn. The story was cool, the enticing was cool. I didn't really need a walkthrough for this, which I enjoy. I only needed walkthroughs in the end, and that was only like... And I and I accidentally looked up some things, but that was it. So, it, it was like the right amount of challenging for me. Man, I loved that. That, that was fun. God, I can't... I think this game is a series, so I'm like, oh, I gotta play the other two games, but I have to find the second game. I have, I, I can, I have the first game on my wish list, but I just have to get the other game. Game, man, I am looking out for this game. It's like looking out for more of these because these are fun. Man. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, please leave a like. Um, along with Tangle Tower, some series I've done are Minecraft Helltaker, Roller Riot, Among Us, and Skeletac, along with others. Um, I've recorded this all in one sitting, and so, but and I haven't recorded anything else, so... 
<laughs> this the upload schedule is gonna be fun. Um, yeah, but damn, this was fun. This was a fun game. I I like this game. I I need to keep my eyes out for another installment from this series. Yeah. Um, but with that, oh, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Uh, and with that, I will see you guys in the next issue. See ya!